Well, uh, T prolymphocytic uh, leukemia is a very rare and uh, maybe one of the most aggressive uh, forms of leukemia and with a very bad prognosis. And so far, uh, it's actually, it is treatable, but it has actually uh, relapses uh, uh, and refractory disease is uh, inevitable. So the most effective drug so far is the antibody Alemtuzumab, a CD52 antibody, and about 90% respond, but the response uh, time is only about uh, nine months. So they all relapse and actually um, uh, most patients die within the first year so far. So it's a, it's a disease with a, with unfortunately, current treatment uh, is, uh, has a very bad prognosis and there's a huge medical need to, to, uh, to, to improve the patient situation. And, uh, but this is a very rare disease and so it's uh, um, efforts to do clinical trials uh, are very limited actually. And so there are a lot of obstacles to do that. In our work, we presented a combination of screen, as mentioned, but uh, um, what was also maybe that's why it was selected because we also uh, treated one indicator patient uh, with the combination and saw a strong response. And we really could, with uh, because the patient uh, once developed an influenza and we had to, with uh, some bleeding tendencies, and we had to stop ibrutinib. And we really saw when stopping ibrutinib as the leukocyte count and the LDH as a tumor marker went up again. So it was really ibrutinib dependent uh, the, sub, the, the synergistic or the, the, the effect of venetoclax on the disease. Yeah. So we have also at least one indicator, one uh, proof of principle patient treated with the combination. Well, this was the result actually. We identified venetoclax and it was not just our group. In parallel there was also a Finnish group that, that found that venetoclax is active in TPLL. And both groups um, published these results last year, by end of last year. Um, and so we employed, and both groups employed, uh, functional drug screening. So this is a, a good way to, to, uh, to shortcut um, a clinical trials, where, because you can pre-select effective drugs by using patients' cancer cells and uh, screen them on many available uh, inhibitors and compounds uh, that are at the moment available. And, um, and so we identified that on a pretty large set of uh, different heme malignancies that uh, TPLL are specifically sensitive to venetoclax uh, as a single agent as well. Yeah. And uh, we treated two indicator patients uh, to see if it's also effective in vivo in patients, in late stage patients, and we saw striking responses. However, all of these patients um, relapsed uh, uh, as well, uh, and we have some, some, some uh, mechanistic ideas about, uh, the uh, about uh, why they are relapsing. Um, however, we then in the next step, and this is the work that uh, Christoph Cornett was presenting in behalf of our group uh, in this meeting, um, we uh, performed a combination of drug screenings. So we, we were searching for the ideal combination partner for venetoclax. And uh, for, for us, uh, uh, ibrutinib in all patients that we tested came as a very strong synergistic partner which is very surprisingly because uh, ibrutinib does not have any single agent activity in TPLL. Yeah? So, but in the combination it does. Yeah? Uh, we are still working on the mechanism to understand it, but uh, the most important thing is, is that it is synergistic and it works as a synergism. So, so that's why we are proposing uh, to, to, uh, to, to start treating because there's a huge medical need for TPLL patients and we will it's very tough to get a, a trial running for TPLL and uh, the normal way to, s to show it uh, in a large trial in the single agent activity and then in the combination so we are now um, pushing uh, towards a trial to test the combination venetoclax and ibrutinib and um, this way of this trial uh, re luckily really get support from 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 epi and uh, so there's a, a, a trial and this is a trial upcoming for venetoclax uh, in the combination with ibrutinib and this will be the first international prospective trial on the disease 
So it has never been done so far, and so we are very happy and lucky, of course, uh, uh, that um, that this uh, occurs. Yeah. Does that drone have a name or a number? Yeah, well, it has uh, it has no registration number yet, so it's uh, it's uh, the protocols are written, but it has a name. It will be the VIT trial, so it, uh, VIT, so it's Venetoclax uh, Ibrutinib in TPLL. So it will be an international trial. Um, there will be at least 20 centers uh, um, that are um, that, 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 that will be recruiting. Yeah, it will be uh, open in the U.S. It will be open uh, in many centers in Europe, um, the U.K., um, in Germany, the Netherlands, uh, France, Italy, Austria, and, and also in Australia. So.